What's going on lads? Snacky Box here. So I've been receiving lots of in-game mail about doing an Elixir attunement experience. However, I've decided that I'm going to one-up that. I'm going to give you guys a comprehensive, 100% serious guide on how to get attuned, no meme. Let's begin. So first things first, you want to log into your character and once the game is loaded, you want to make your way to Helgen. Hey, you! Finally awake. <laughs> Once you reach Helgen, there'll be a small cutscene, and to summarize it, your character basically fails RP, and the punishment for that is death. As the cutscene progresses, it is then your turn to be executed. However, Anixia does turn up and does manage to make it so that you can escape. <laughs> For this next part, you basically need to just keep on running because you can't actually fight Anixia yet because you don't have your Drake Fire Amulet. This is something that will be obtained later on. As you get to the end of this area, you'll have to make your way into the keep to escape the dragon. Uh, this will take you on to the next part of the quest. So just wait for the game to load and then it will brief you on what you have to do for the next part. Power's out! Let's get turned back on! Hurrah. So if you didn't catch that, what you have to do is get to the other side of the map and turn the power on by pulling the lever. In order to actually get to the other side, you'll need to kill zombies and earn points. These points can then be used to open the various doors that lead to the lever. This part is fairly easy, but if you're not that good at first person shooters, it may take you a couple of tries. Once you arrive at the lever, simply approach it and press the square button on your PlayStation controller to pull it up. This will cause everything to short circuit and spawn you at the next part of the quest. So what you're going to want to do is find the chef located in Lumbridge Castle and he's going to want you to help him find the ingredients to make a cake for his mate because he's having a party or something. Now I must warn you guys, this is probably the most difficult part of the video so really do pay attention here. So he's going to want you to obtain an egg, some milk and some flour for him. I don't know why he doesn't just go to Tesco and grab it himself, but I guess we've made this our problem now, so we better help him. So you're gonna want to exit Lumbridge Castle and turn left and follow the path. Uh, I've designed a map to show you where to go on screen. When you arrive, you wanna go into the chicken coop and grab an egg. You then wanna head next door and grab the wheat and put it in the windmill to make the flour. Once that's done, you want to go out the back and get the milk from the cow. You then want to make your way back to Longbridge Castle and give the ingredients to the cook. Once he receives the items, he'll congratulate you by saying, Well done mate, you've really helped me out mate, thanks. And then you would have completed this part of the quest. You will then receive some in-game mail from the actual chef himself saying that the ingredients you got him were bad and how he wants to fight you. So now you've like got to go and like beat him up. So mount up and make your way towards the yellow blip on the minimap. When you arrive at the location, make sure to dismount to trigger the cutscene. Hey, what you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. You'll now have to beat him in a fight. Like, you're only allowed to use your fists, so like, be really careful and try not to take damage like I did. Once you beat him, make sure you pick up your cell phone. This will then trigger the next cutscene. Nothing really happens in this cutscene except your mate gives you a gun for like no reason really. It's just like your gun mate is a gun so make sure you get the gun off of him as you'll need it for the next part of the quest. What you have to do is follow your mate and then like kite the mobs at the same time and make sure they don't hit you because there is three of them so if you do get knocked over they will get you. So pretty much shoot whilst running at the same time. If you do manage to get the police on you like I did just simply walk into the star and then the police turn into Stevie Wonder and that's it, you just get away with killing people. Once you mount up again, make your way back to the hotel and save the game. Then this way your character will sleep. Make sure there's no enemies around you as you can't sleep when monsters are nearby. Your character will then wake up in a state of confusion because you've put in so much work for this quest that like you've just gone a bit insane. So what you want to do is now make your way out to the hotel lobby. Let's do this. After realizing the staircase is closed, you'll have to go out to this outside area and then you'll see these people fall off the side. They've obviously not like used slow fall or used some Nogger Fogger Elixir as they pretty much just fall and die. So in order to actually get down to the ground floor, you need to go into the top part of this elevator. Once you get in though, it breaks and you're about to fall to your death, but for some reason you just don't. At the very least, like you really hurt your back like this, like surely. But anyway, 
So after this, you have to escape the elevator and you happen to see some like horde players, so make sure to run away from them because you're very low level at the moment and we all know the horde prey on low levels, so make sure you escape them. As soon as you do escape them though, there's a level 60 undead rogue on the other side who does sap you, but some level 60 alliance players come along and they save you. The alliance players take you back to Stormwind, however the original guy who saved you is stuck outside being ganked by 5 people. So it's your job to go out there and now save him. Neat fighting maggot! So after you've saved him, the Alliance player gives you one final quest and it's to save his other mate who's on top of a mountain or something and he needs a cheeseburger otherwise he's gonna die of hunger so your job is to go get a cheeseburger for them. So once again you want to mount up and head to your nearest like burger place Hi, welcome to McDonald's and take your order please. You're right, can I get a one cheeseburger please? Anything else? That's it, cheers. No, can I put in this order? Thank you. Thank you. Hiya. Lovely, cheers, thank you. Once you've got your burger, you want to make your way home and get back on your PC. You can hand this quest in in Winter Spring. So once you get there, uh, you'll need to hand the burger in to the NPC. Uh, the way I did this was putting the burger in a laptop CD tray and then just close it. It shouldn't cause too much damage, but if it does, like please don't blame me. This is this is Blizzard's fault. As soon as you've booted up your cheeseburger, you should receive the amulet in your inventory. And congratulations, you're now attuned. I hope this tutorial was helpful for some of you guys. It certainly took me some time to make, but it was worth it to help all of you that may be stuck on it. If any of you are interested, I recently started streaming on Twitch where I made an ult that the chat told me to make. I got stuck with a female dwarf rep paladin, so expect some highly skilled mechanical gameplay. I'll also be streaming my guilds raids so if you're interested in that make sure to check it out in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you want to see more make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching lads. Da -na, da -na -na. Thank you Skapada and to Howard. Nice to land me Blade. Thank you, Star Glitter and Mr. Spannard. Thanks for supporting me on Patreon. You guys are great. Dee -doo -dee -doo.